Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Katie and today I wanted to show you guys how I do my eyebrows. So I learned to do my eyebrows by myself because whenever I used to get them waxed, it would leave like a very obvious like square or rectangle in the shape of the waxing strip. And then one time I had my mother do my eyebrows by herself with some tweezers and I believe I was in 10th grade and my eyebrows looked like this. It was the worst day of my life. <laughs> so mom was no longer allowed to touch my eyebrows and I just wanted to show you guys the basics of taking care of your eyebrows and making sure they fit your face and most important that you feel confident and that you like your eyebrows. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. I'd really, really appreciate it. Uh, this is my first video without mom, Lorna, and I know it's a big change. So for this video, I am showing you what I like for my eyebrows. I like to keep them looking natural, but at the same time, groomed. Always do your eyebrows little by little because as soon as you shave that piece off or pluck it off uh, you gotta wait for it to grow back you can't glue those little tiny hairs back on so it's very important that especially if you're doing your eyebrows for the first time to go slow and find out what you like for the things you'll need uh, a spoolie brush to comb your eyebrows tweezers for the hairs that uh, i can't get with this this is my electrical uh, face trimmer, but to me, this works out a lot better than using this. Or just plucking them out one by one, which will take forever. And also some little like trimming scissors. It's just to cut off the long hairs at the end. All right, guys, so we're gonna get very close and personal. What I mean by keeping my eyebrows natural is what you want to look for are just the stray extra hairs that you have on the outermost part of your eyebrows so this area and you know this area down here and of course if you grow any hair here and I know that that may be confusing but you can also use a brow pencil to trace out your eyebrows which I don't do, but I'm going to use for this video so that way it's easier for you to follow along. You want your ends of your eyebrows to meet on the outermost point of your nose. I don't go next to my nostril. You just want to go right on top of it. So this is where you would want to remove any like unibrow hair or if you're just your hair is just a tad bit longer like mine are on this side just removing that tiny bit of hair your arch should be lined up on right next to your nostril so for this one I was on top of it but for this one we're right outside of it all right so if you are going to create an arch this is where you would create it and your tail is supposed to meet here so I'm just gonna line right here so you guys can see it. So that's my shape. I don't do an arch, so I'm not gonna worry about that. Then right here, oops, my tail, all right. These hairs right here are all thicker. You can see them right here. So I will not be touching those. But I will, you know, show how I do this brow as well, just in case I went too fast with this side. You want to brush through your eyebrows. Now I don't know if you guys can see it, but I can see like the shadow of where my tail is. Let's get started. See how fast that is? It's just so much easier than 
going in with this and sometimes it can cut you if you do it wrong but this does not cut which is what I love and you can get this for like ten dollars on Amazon you just try type in a facial electric trimmer all right and then when you're doing this part down here you want to be very careful you want to pull your eyebrow up and you can see all of these sparse hairs down here let me brush my brows again because it's gonna make it easier for me to make sure whoop, I just hit my camera to make sure that I don't accidentally grab the wrong hair You can also cut these long hairs if you want, but the bushy brow is in, so I don't bother uh, cutting these. But if you do want to cut them, this is the point in which you would. You would just comb them up, because it just helps thin out the brow. And then you can just go across with your scissors like this and cut. Or, for an easier way, what I do is with my trimmer, I just turn it on, hold it, boop, and go like that. But I like to keep mine long. And of course, the tweezers are for uh, all of these extra hairs. So I know it looks messy right now, but I'm going to keep the marks in, especially this one, uh, just so I can make sure both eyebrows are kind of symmetrical. They don't need to be perfect. What, what's the saying? I believe it's um, you want them to be sisters, not twins. Let's comb these up. All right. So again, if you were to do an arch, this is where you would do it. So again, before I start going with the electric trimmer. I'm going to comb my eyebrows up again. Also, be careful not to get your eyelashes. <laughs> I've done that before. I'm just gonna remove these markings real quick and then I'll do the finishing touches all right this is what they look like after I took off the little marks now it may not be as drastic as you thought it would be but this is what I'm happy with this is what I feel comfortable with that way if I wear them natural I'm not worried and then if I do makeup I can make my eyebrows how I want them to be if you see anything extra Ooh. Ooh, that one made me tear up a little bit now they don't have to be perfect um, especially if you're like me and don't let people get too close because you love your personal space but, you know, it's all up to you how you want to do your eyebrows.
I'm just gonna get a little bit of the tail. Make the tail a little bit more come down to a point and shorten them just like a tiny bit since it is a little bit longer. Alright you guys, there it is. There are my eyebrows. There you guys have it. Simple, easy, natural brows. Alright, that is it for today's video guys. I'll see you next Friday. Bye.